Hello, welcome to our project on computer pattern drafting. Today I'm going to be showing you how to draft a regular sleeve using Valentina seeding. So as we all know, Valentina is not really a conventional pattern drafting software like Adobe Illustrator where everything can be chucked into layers and all that. In Valentina you work with various pattern pieces and in order to make the whole process a lot smoother i have made my blocks all to fit into a particular file but in different pattern piece what this means is that if you look right here on the drop down menu other pattern piece you can see the various blocks in individual pattern piece and in valentina once you select a pattern piece the other pattern, uh, the previous pattern piece fades out, so you can never have access to it. Okay, so nothing works in the previous one while you are working in your current pattern piece. So you kind of like um, you are in a completely different. Was like being in different states but in the same country. <laughs> That's how the whole pattern piece works in Valentina. So it kind of fades off the previous piece, so you're unable to make any change to it, right? But in your current piece, you can do whatever you want. So you can either create all your blocks in one pattern piece, so that it will be easier for you to make adjustment on that pattern piece, or you can do it in different pattern piece, and um, and then kind of like save the work and whenever you want to use it you can adjust those individual pattern piece but the trick about doing that is that since the previous pattern piece is on you're unable to have access to it how then do you kind of like merge the pieces together because there are some cases where you will need to work on a project that involves both bodies and skirts so how do you pull them together the funniest thing is that there is a trick and there's a way you can go about it but to not follow the same conventional methods that we know or uh, to not involve a lot of um, actual calculation it will just need like tracing and all that and i will show you how to do all of that in this project so i want to make a regular sleeve right and it will involve a basic bodice block and a basic sleeve block so as you can see here, I have my basic bodice block on one pattern piece and then my sleeve block on another pattern piece. Now when I selected my sleeve block, you can see my bodice kind of like fades out. I can do anything here. So how do I work both of them to get that in order to get what I want? That is what we are going to learn here. All right, so I'm going to go back first to my basic bodies block because there are some changes we want to make but if you look at my basic bodies block you can see right here at the right hand menu that I've taken the liberty to group my basic bodies block to front bodies okay this is the front bodies of the block and back bodies this is the back bodies of the block now I also you know kind of did more <laughs> Uh, I also did like my full bodies block and my front, uh, sorry, front blouse um, block. I also did my back blouse as well. So I kind of like grouped everything so that it would be a lot easier for me to work on a particular piece without being so concerned about the changes in the other piece. It makes the whole thing smooth, easier and it kind of like eliminates some unnecessary lines that you may have made while actually drafting those blocks. So it's a little bit time consuming when you're trying to find the right line to which block but at the end of the day it's worth it you get to focus on your front get what you want to do with the front and then move on 
the focus on the back get what you want to do with the back and then move on it makes the whole process a lot easier but of course before you start altering your blocks you want to make sure that you have your project saved on a different name so i can see at the top hand, um, left hand corner that i've actually saved all my blocks with a different name regular sleeve so if i go to my file option here you can see all the blocks right here that have not been altered so what i just did was that i copied pasted changed the name and now i want to work on it so it kind of like saves your your original block so that whenever you have future projects that you want to do you you can go on to do that without being so concerned that you have altered it i hope you understand what i'm trying to say if you have any questions please feel free to ask me now by the way you can learn how to draft your basic bodies block your basic skirt block trusted block sleeves block and all the blocks in my online training program yes i have a course that you can pay to take part in it's an uh kind of like a one-on-one -on -one training course so it's not like a public thing you just contact me based on request so you send me a message on whatsapp or on facebook using any of the contact details below the screen and then we can start out i can start training you on how to use valentina's to make valentina to make the various block funny funny enough you can also learn all the detailed um projects like twist blouse six pieces pattern six pieces skirt or six spaniel skirts uh six pieces dress and so many amazing even origami tiara custom projects and all of that you can learn how to make a flounce you can learn how to make peplums you can learn how to make amazing designs using valentina cad i'm also currently putting a course on how you can also use adobe illustrator for those who want to learn how to use adobe illustrator instead in drafting their patterns all right so feel free to contact me using any of the details below the screen and we can get started immediately all right now let's begin so like i said i have grouped my projects um you can either use any of the um basic block that is the bodies or the blouse block depending on the kind of project you want to work on but since i'm just focused on how to get the whole regular sleeve done i can use my bodies i can use my blouse doesn't really matter so first thing i'm going to do of course is to select the individual ones i'm going to start with my front bodies i think i'm going to work first on this one and let's zoom in so that we can see how that looks like. So you can see my the front of my bodies already drafted out. And one important detail you really need to do with your bodies is to ensure that you have included your notch at your armhole. Now this is very important. Now you can do this by dividing your armhole into three. So if I tap on this point right here, on the formula angle, you can see on the formula side of the Valentina, you can see the details right here. I divided this current length by three so I can have my notch points. This is also very important. I also made sure that this point is also on my sleeve block. So if you go over to my sleeve block and zoom in, you can also see the notches right here on my back and on my front. So these notches are all going to, of course, reflect in the detail mode when I'll be adding my notches, you know, in the detail mode. Now you can learn all about the various modes on Valentina in the course that i would share with you when you sign up in so make sure you contact me so i can teach you everything that i know and i've been enjoying with valentina so i'm going to go back to my basic block and just like i said you want to ensure that your notch is at your armhole and you can see right here at the front so the next thing we want to do is to divide our neckline 
all right we want to divide it by three so that we can have a point here so um, we're able to create that regular look for our shoulders we want to like take out our shoulders from the front bodies so that we can add it to our sleeve and then we'll have our pattern for our regular sleeve so i'm going to of course go to my two menu i'm going to select the segmenting two for the curve right here i'm going to select it now you want to pay attention to the direction of your curve because it's very important now when it's when the direction is is facing this way it means that your curve is starting from here and ending here but if it's going you know in the upward direction it means that your curve is done starting here and ending here you learn all about this in the full course now I'm going to select this two this curve right here and I'm going to my formula table I'm going to select the length of the curve and I'm going to divide it by three because I want to now pick out the points on my curve anywhere it all depends on how you want your rig length sleeve to look like so i'm gonna apply and I click ok and you can see the point right here so <clears throat> i'm going to select my curve to and connect it to my notch at the armhole now you can either do like a straight line rig length thing if that's what you would like to do it all depends on how you want your design to look like but if that is your intention of course you will not be using the curve to you just use your line two to connect this is what i mean so i'm going to undo this so let's assume i want my rig length to be like a straight curve i'm going to use my line two to connect this point and this is how it will look all right but if you want it to have like a curve like a curve like design you can use your curve to to join the points and then adjust accordingly so i'm just gonna adjust and there you go so you can see i have demarcated my body so this is one and this is two so i think this tip here is too tiny so you yeah, just did a bit let's look fancy i think this is nice great so i have created a curve so i've kind of demarcated my shoulders and the rest part of my body now now that i've done this i would like to group this project so that <clears throat> i'll be able to actually um see what i'm doing so i'm going to zoom out a bit I'm going to go to my operation tools and select my group my two right here and i'm going to drag it all over the front piece like this to select all the points i'm going to click enter and i'm going to write front which regular regular line or curve anyone prefer i'm gonna click ok so now i'm going to remove this from my front bodies okay so because i don't need this to be on my front bodies i've already done what i want so i'm going to click on the curve here and i'm going to remove it add it first to let's see let's see let me hide this okay Wait. so on my front so you can see my basic bodies here so i've added my rig line see my front bodies no longer has the line because i've saved it on a new project group which is this beautiful so now that i'm done with this i'll go to my back bodies this is my back body so i'm literally going to do the same thing that i did with the front i'm going to divide the neckline by three there you have it and you can either use a straight line like this line connect these two points together to get your back if that's what works for you 
but I would like mine to have like a little bit of cough, cute cough, right here down. Let me just adjust a bit. And there you have it. So this is it for my back piece. Now you will notice that my back bodies does not have a shoulder dart and that is on purpose. I usually do not include shoulder darts to my basic bodies. Now if you look at most of the um, fundamental um, pattern drafting uh, lessons on back on how to draft bodies is usually that at the back but I personally do not include it I make it optional for people so if yours has a dot you might want to close the dot before including your star line but nevertheless I'm just going to show you what happens afterwards so now that I've included my regular star line I'm going to also group it and go to my group two and drag it all over like so I'm gonna click enter and I'm going to enter back with Reglan mine and come and click OK so if I hide this you can see my back piece if you hide this make this visible and hide your basic bodies you can see your bodies now has this so now that we have done with all of that i'm going to go back to my front bodies uh, my front with a regular line i'm going to make it visible and this is how it looks so now we want to take this upper part <laughs> we want to take this upper part of our front all the way to the back of our sleeve so how do we do that how do we take this thing away so the first thing you want to do is to you know the same thing that i did earlier you want to take this part of the shoulder and make it the only thing that is visible on your project kind of like hide the rest part of it so what i'm going to do is also create my group and i'm going to select all the points and curves connecting to that vision to that show the parts that is our one part of our bodies But before I do that, you will notice that by putting the points on those curves of my project, I have not actually demarcated it. What this means is that I have to add a new curve at this neckline so that it can work only for the regular shoulder parts and also at the armhole. So I'm going to go to my curve two. I'm going to select this two, my curve two and I'm going to join the curve over here and kind of imitate the curve, the small curve that I have right there at the neckline. I'm also going to do the same from this point to this point and kind of like imitate the curve. Like do this. Yeah, so you can see the the curve is almost visible you can barely see it by the way if you want to know if your curve is actually accurate you might want to zoom in a little bit more Valentina allows you to zoom so you want to zoom to see how accurate your curve is and then you can adjust accordingly so now that I have added a new curve at this point that have to do with my regular design I'm going to go to my operation tools and create a new group so I'm going to select the new points and curve that I've created as well as the line of the shoulders I 
add my front regular line you can see I only have my regular shoulders visible now so I've kind of hidden that aspect of my design the other parts of my body and then I can do whatever I like with this so I'll go to my back and also do the same so I'm gonna hide this I'll go to my back with regular line and I'm going to repeat the same thing that I did with the front include a curve right here at the neckline and at the armhole So when I hide my bodice with a regular line, you can see I have my back. So I'm going to make both of them vis visible so that I can see it. So I'm going to zoom out and you can see the two lines right here on my project. So now we have a front and we have a back. Um, this looks a little bit distorted. So let me adjust it. I think I use this as a guide. There you go. Maybe I can hide this. All right, so. Now this is settled, I wanted to move them to my sleeve. First, I'm going to move the front and I'll region it accordingly. So you can see my front and my back sleeve. Now, if I hide this and tap on this and make this visible, you can see my back piece is now the other way around. So I kind of like flipped it so that it would be easier for me to move my shoulder, my front bundy shoulder and back shoulder all right so now that we have done that i'm going to begin my move so i'm going to zoom out um go all the way to my bodies all right so i want to move my sleeve this is the armhole right i want to move it right here to this armhole point here and i'm going to use in this uh notch as my guide so first i'll go to my basic bodies i'm going to zoom in i'm going to start with the front move the front first so to move you want to go to your patient tools and select your move tool right select the whole points and lines and then enter so you can see it's trying to move i'm going to go all the way to where my sleeve is and you can see my notch there i'm going to place my notch at the point on my sleeve and you can zoom in to be sure
and you can see it has been moved now the only thing you can see right here is that the arm hole as you can see is not connecting with the with the armhole of the sleeve so how do we rectify this we have to rotate what we just drafted now before i do the rotation i would like to change the color of the lines and curve of course it will affect what we have there but that's okay i want to change the color so that i can work on something new later so i'm going to come back here and i'm going to change the colors of the line I'm going to make it um should i make it dotted mm, i think i'll make it color to be like a light lemon now whatever change i make here is going to happen over there so i'm going to go back over to where my sleeve is and you can see the color has changed now the reason i'm making it fenter is because now i want to rotate it so i don't want the lines to confuse me so it will be easier to actually work so now that i have this i'm going to rotate so i'm going to go over to um my rotate to here to select all the points except this i'm going to click enter and then select the point now i'm going to rotate towards the direction of the armhole and apply and okay and you can see my armhole has been you know, rotated towards the direction so i'm going to use my line to to join this point together and there you have it so i'm going to just also change the color to light salmon all right so all right so you can see my front shoulders have been added to the sleeve so we'll do the same for the back piece so i'm going to go over to my back change the color so that the whole process will be a lot easier i think i'll use pink for the back So you can see my back is uh, pink. So don't forget that I want to include this. This is my armhole um, here. So I want to move this. So I'm going to my patient to select all the points and then click enter to move it. So I'm going to go over to my sleeve here. I'm going to connect my notch to the sleeve. connected my sleeve there and you can see how it looks so the next thing I'm going to do is to rotate so that the armhole can you know close in on the sleeve so I'm going to select my rotation to rotate all the points except this point click enter and then select the point and adjust the direction. See, apply, and okay. So I can now use my line two to connect this point to this point, and uh, what else? Change the color to also pink. So you can now see my front shoulders have been added here and also this. Now we can now go back to our sleeve block and you can see on our sleeve block we have our sleeve connected so I'm going to zoom in and you can see our regular sleeve has been connected to our sleeve block. 
so what we want to do now is to trace what we have done on our basic block on this sleeve so that we can have our sleeve pattern so to do that you want to create a box so then you want to create a box along around this project that you have done so you go to your point two select your point all the way you can hold down your shift key for accuracy apply okay and then from here apply okay And I think I'll just use my line to, to connect here to the notch of my sleeve. Then, so we have created like a box so that we can easily trace out what we have done. So I want to put a point here so that I'll be able to trace. I want to put a point here, a point here, a point here. And points here what else I think those are the only points we need to include so to do that I'll go to my points two points along the line there uh, I think points along the line I think this is it select two points okay sorry this two we'll select this two to create a point along the line from here okay so we've been able to create a point there so i'm going to make this line fence so that it doesn't confuse me and maybe dotted as well okay so we've been able to create a point there I want to also create a point here so point along the line select this point there you go and there you have it so I'm going to make this line dotted and faint all right so we have points there well we also need points we need the points here okay so Using my point line to connect from here to here, I apply and OK. okay so the point there. So make this invisible. Great. So we need another point here. Point along the line here. I'm sorry about that. Here. Apply and OK. So you can see the points. I've created the points. So we can now create our curves in order for us to attach it to our curve. So from here, the, the notch here, I'm going to create a curve notch to this point and just curve okay so there we have it from our sleeve and then a curve to from here to here And then a straight line, straight line to this point, straight line from here to here, also a curve from here 
let's see here and then a call from here And voila, you can see we are done with our wig and sleeve. Now I'm going to make my boxes invisible so that we don't see them and do anything with them. So lemon. And voila, we have our regular sleeve for our project. So I'm going to detail my project so that we can see how it looks in the So you can see that I'm done drafting my regular sleeve using Valentina and you can see how my pattern now looks. This is my the front of my basic bodice block, my back and my sleeve. So this is what it means to draft a regular sleeve using Valentina. If you have any questions about this, feel free to leave it in the comments box below and mwah, see you next time for more amazing computer pattern drafting lessons remember that you can contact me using any, any of the contact details below the screen to sign up for my course it's quite affordable and it is a one-on-one -on -one training course so it is based on requests so once you contact me we can start up immediately so bye bye
Bye.